f of x equal to sine of 1 by x is continuous and bounded on this given interval from 0 to 2 divided by pi. This is your open interval but is not uniformly continuous in this interval. Right? This we need to show. Now when the function is continuous, if it satisfy, limit x tends to c, f of x equal to f of c. If it satisfy this condition, then we say that function is continuous at c, at the point c, right? And when the function is uniformly continuous, if I show that mod of f of x2 minus f of x1 is strictly less than epsilon for mod of x2 minus x1 strictly less than delta, where epsilon is positive and delta is also strictly positive, right? For x1, x2 belonging to the given interval. So here it is 0 to 2 divided by pi, right? So this is a condition for the uniformly continuous and this is for the continuity. Now the given function is sine 1 by x. For the continuity, we need to first check whether the function is defined or not, right? Now where the function is not defined? For x equal to 0, the function is not defined because sine of 1 divided by 0 is undefined, right? That means at x equal to 0, the function is discontinuous, right? Now, the function sine x is always continuous on the real axis, which means this function is continuous everywhere. That is for all x except x equal to 0. For x equal to 0, it is not defined, right? Okay, for the continuity, <coughs> let me take x equal to c. So, if I put limit x tending to c, f of x, what it is? Limit x tends to c, what is f x? It is sine of 1 by x. So, that is equal to sine of 1 by c, right? And second point, what is f of c? This is equal to sine of, just put x equal to c over here, it is 1 divided by c. That means these two are equal. c is any arbitrary point, right? So this means the function sine of 1 by x is continuous everywhere for all c, right? In the real axis, except at the point 0. But here, the interval is from 0 to 2 divided by pi. This is your open interval, which means this 0 point and 2 divided by pi, this is excluded from the interval. And we are saying that this function is continuous for all x except x equal to 0 and x equal to 0 does not belong to this interval. So can I say that this given function is continuous in this interval at all the points belonging to this interval? Yes. Alright, so let's write all this. We know that f of x is continuous for all x except x equal to 0. Here the function is not defined, right? And also x equal to 0 does not belong to 0 and 2 divided by pi, this open interval which is given to us. So that is f of x is continuous in this open interval for all the points yes all right so this is for the continuity now let's check whether the function is bounded or not obviously we know that now we know that the range of sine of theta is minus one to one close interval right that is it is bounded so mod of sine of theta is bounded for all real x, right? And here theta is 1 divided by x for our given function. So that means mod of sine of 1 by x is less than equal to 1. That means it is also bounded in 0 to 2 divided by pi interval. So let's write this. Now mod of sine of 1 by x is less than equal to 1. That is sine of 1 by x is bounded Therefore, sine 1 by x is bounded 
in 0 to 2 divided by pi interval. The open interval which is given to us. So first part is done. So hence f of x equal to sine of 1 by x is continuous and bounded in the given interval in the given interval. Let's check the uniform continuity now. For that I need to take two points from this interval and for these points I need to show that for the given epsilon there exists delta positive such that mod of f of x2 minus f of x1 is strictly less than epsilon for mod of x2 minus x1 less than delta. So let's consider the two points belonging to this given interval. So consider x1 equal to let's say 1 divided by n pi and considering x2 as 2 divided by 2n plus 1 pi. Why I have taken these two points that you will get to know later and these two points belongs to 0 to 2 divided by pi open interval. So let's check mod of x2 minus f of x1. That is mod of sine of 1 divided by x2 minus sine of 1 divided by x1. What is x2? It is 2 divided by 2n plus 1 pi. 2n plus 1 pi divided by 2 minus sine of 1 by x1. 1 x1 is 1 divided by n pi. So this is sine of n pi. Alright. Now this is sine of 2n plus 1 pi by 2. That is odd multiple of pi by 2. And sine of odd multiple of pi by 2 is always equal to 1. So we are getting this to be as 1 minus sine of n pi. Sine of n pi. Whatever n be. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Always we are getting sine of n pi to be equal to 0. So this value is 0. So we are getting this to be as 1. Now epsilon is any arbitrary number which can be taken as small as possible. 0 0.001, 0 0.0001, any number you can take as small as possible. So I can write this one to be strictly greater than epsilon. Yes, where epsilon is smallest possible number so what we have got that mod of f of x2 minus f of x1 this is greater than epsilon please mark this as 1 that is why i have considered these x1 and x2 so that i can get the values of sine of reciprocals of these two numbers very easily all right let's check this mod now that is mod of x2 minus x1. What is x2? It is 2 divided by 2n plus 1 pi minus 1 divided by n pi. Solving this we get 2n minus 2n minus 1 divided by 2n plus 1 n pi. So these two cancelled out and we get mod of negative 1 divided by 2n plus 1 into n pi as 1 divided by 2n plus 1 n pi which can be made strictly less than delta where delta is any positive real number because I can take n to be as large as possible right it can also tends to infinity so I can take this to be strictly less than delta so I get mod of x2 minus x1 less than delta Please mark this as 2. Now from 1 we are getting this mod to be strictly greater than epsilon. And from 2 we are getting this mod to be strictly less than delta. But what we need for uniform continuity. That this mod should be strictly less than epsilon. Less than epsilon right. That is why the given function is not uniformly continuous. In open interval 0 to 2 divided by pi. So let's write this. So therefore, mod of x2 minus x1, yes, it is less than delta, but mod of f of x2 minus f of x1 is not less than epsilon. Therefore, the function f of x equal to sine of 1 by x is not uniformly continuous in the given interval. So what result we got that? The function is continuous 
and also bounded but is not uniformly continuous in the given interval 0 to 2 divided by pi. Alright, thank you.